Hi, this video is all about parameters and list of values in business layer in SAP business objects. So we can create a parameters and list of values for a universe. Those parameters and list of values will be used in a B layer. So now I'm in a business layer. So as you can see, we have four different options, business layer, queries, parameters and list of values and navigation path. All right, I'm going to parameter and list of values. So this is a place where we can create a list of values and parameters. First, let's, let me explain the list of values. So list of values is nothing but when the end user click a particular uh, prompt variable or parameter, they can choose the value from list of values. So once you created a list of values, we can assign or we can associate that list of values to the parameters. So whenever user get the parameter, it will come up with the associated list of values. They can choose any value from the associated list of values. So in this list of value, we have three different options. List of values based on business layer objects, static list of values, list of values based on custom SQL. Let me create one list of value based on business layer objects. Choose this option and go to edit query and choose the result objects or object which you want to create a list of values i'm going to choose building status so i'll click ok so i just created a building status list of value from my business layer objects all right so this also called it as lov so i just named it as lov underscore bl so I can preview what are the values going to be available in this list of values. The value is going to be INP. So in some cases, if you have more values, you want to restrict some values. Only those value needs to be selected as a user selection. Then you can filter those values in this query filter section. So for example, if I want to uh, have a building status and I just want to restrict my user to ch choose only P so then I can filter it out and if I click preview then end user can see only P so like that we have a different operators like equal to in list not equal to there are many operators are there based on that you can filter it out and you can show only the real uh, values which end user can see all right so this is based on business layer object the next op object is static list of values. So here you can create a hard coded values. So here I have one column called a column zero. Underneath uh, this column, I can add values. So for example, here P, I, then some other name A, X. So I can create a list of values like this. Then I have to change this column name. Otherwise end user will see this column, column zero. Then they will be in confusion what it uh, redirects or which points to the data source. So we can easily format the column name as building status, right? So then when uh, click a list, list of values, they, it will come up with the building status column name. So I can preview that. So it is going to show all the values. Let me show how to create a list of values based on custom SQL. So just click custom SQL, go to edit SQL. Here we need to pass our uh, SQL statement, select star from table name. Instead of star, I'm going to choose billing status here. And from our table name is this one. All right, just validate this and click OK. So I can change this to different name. LOV underscore SQL. All right. So now I can assign this list of values to the parameter. All right. I can create a new parameter called billing status. Here I can give a proper name. Instead of enter parameter, I can ask the end user to choose the value or select the value. Select the billing status. So this will be the name or word which will be displayed to the end user so the data type is going to be string and here we have two options allow multiple values keep lost values 
so if i check this allow multiple values then user can select multiple values at a time like uh, p and i on a same uh, on a same uh, selection if i uncheck this then they can select only one value either p or i the the next option is keep lost values so it means when you run a report uh, if you selected a p then it will going to show the data based on the p filter so when you refresh it again it is going to show the same lost value as p so if you want to uh, enter every time when you refresh then you can uncheck this so i'll uncheck this and associate a list of values are to associate let us asso associate from the business uh, layer objects directly or we can create our own list of values so i'll choose our own list of values and click okay here we have a set default values so it means whenever you run a report with this parameter it is going to fix only that selected value either i can select p or i so it is come up with the default uh, value here select only from list so it means by default we'll have a two option to select one is text box if is if that is a string data type or if it is a date then it is going to be a date picker underneath we'll have a list of values so i can restrict end user to select only value from list of values so i can check this box all right i can save this so i can use these parameters in web layer or still i can use this in a business layer as well so go to business layer and i can add a new dimension and i'll say business layer or uh, billing status so anything uh, the name you can specify here i just want to have delivery status in where condition i have to specify the prompt so the prompt is going to be applied on billing status billing status equal to then prompt function all right here prompt function i have to say the name like uh, select billing status all right here i can say my string data type so i can say a and i can say my list of values all right so i can validate this so this is successfully validated and i can preview this value so i can go to next and uh, show value so when i show value it is going to come up with the selected uh, prom parameter with the list of values all right so instead of going to use the parameter and uh, list of values you can directly pass the uh, parameter like uh, you can double check this so it is come up with prompt of billing status so as we associated the list of values in the parameter so no need to uh, separately give that uh, list of values so it will come up with that parameter itself all right so now i'm going to publish this to the repository next and i'll choose this all right i have published now i'll go to universe sales and this is my universe right yeah sales under aabr folder sales under aabr folder okay so i just used to that uh, universe so i'll take these two billing status delivery date delivery status then product id sales order item all right here if i refresh some issues there sales order item yeah i have done few changes on the data foundation layer so i have to modify this refresh structure all right business layer
field so the right turn all right i think we have done all the changes let us do the check integrity okay sales order id so i'll take the sales order id from this view itself now everything is all right okay now i can publish this all right we replaced that universe now we can go back here and we can open the sales universe so we need to refresh this it has to show fourth as we deployed four times so before this video now deployed two times Okay, now it has updated now i can select this okay now we have two different folders think oh, still it has not affected let me refresh yeah still it has not reflected let me reconnect it again sometimes we'll be facing like uh, this kind of errors so we have to tackle those errors right here more and right now we have to choose a very universe this sales right now let us see whether it has reflected the latest changes all right it has uh, it got the uh, latest information so all right now we can do two different options one is bl we can directly pull this bl as we created this uh, dimension with uh, prompt function so if i refresh this it is going to ask you the prompt or or you can do another option like uh, you can drag and drop billing status here and you can set the prompt and you can choose the parameter option as universe parameter click billing status click okay so now we can remove this billing status as we have a separate query filter now if you refresh it is going to ask you the same but this time it is coming from parameters in business layer all right so select it is going to filter only p and it is going to give you the results right so this is how we have to use parameters and list of values in business layer and web intelligence thank you